Hey designers, welcome back to part two on the advanced prototyping tutorial that we created. So this was a small module of the checkout page that we created. So if you remember, we were able to add multiple items and the subtotal and the total were changing. So this was all done on a single screen. If you remember, if you're not seeing this video, definitely check out part one and then you can watch this or else it'll be a bit confusing. So in this part two, I basically wanted to cover the part where we deleted an item and the subtotal and the total were reflecting those changes. So here we're going to see how to do that. So here we are on a Figma screen and this was what we created initially so if i click on the frame and do a shift spacebar this basically opens up right here so as you can see i can just increase these values of the count of the item and these gets reflected here i can reduce it increase it and everything gets reflected here right so now we're going to see how we can delete this using this button right here so for that the first thing we got to do is create a new variable so if you remember the local variables we had two variables for the total and one for the subtotal and if i open the different check out collection here we also created this item count right so this will be the new variable that we're going to create so just create a new variable in this one which has all these modes so once you create a new variable let's just name it item available or not so just to see if you removed it or uh, applied it so i just named it item available you can give it any name that you want and this is going to be a boolean variable right so once you create this make sure to choose boolean and uh, just make sure that everything is true because uh, initially when you come to the screen all the three are available and visible so that's the reason just enable everything to true and just leave it so just close this and now you have to assign this particular variable to each of these layers right so make sure each of these are in a particular frame so if i select this each of this are in a frame right so i have three frames here which represent all these three so just select the first frame here and on the right side panel you have this layer uh, section here and you have an eye icon which basically represents if it is visible or not visible so if you click this it gets turned off and on right just right click on this eye option and you'll be seeing all the uh, variables that are available so all the boolean variables especially because only boolean can be selected in this option here because it can be either on or off so for that reason if you see only the item available variable that we created previously is available here you just have to select this and this item available variable gets assigned to this particular frame right so whenever that variable is turned off this one gets off so let's see that in action if you want so i go back to the local variables and if i turn this off you can notice that this particular thing gets off right turned off so that is the effect on this one and also make sure that all of this is in auto layout or else this won't work right so if it is not auto layout once you turn this off the space here will remain as it is you have to make sure your whole screen is auto layout enabled and then only this will work uh, seamlessly or else you'll see an empty space here once you remove this and also make sure that you select the appropriate mode for each of this right because once you assign the item available to this one you have to choose which one of the mode this one right so this one is going to be mx keys and this one is going to be pop keys and this one is going to be the mx mouse so the mode for each of this is enabled and that is how it knows that this is linked to mx keys and this true is linked to pop keys and this is linked to the mx mouse so if you are confused on these modes definitely check out part one and that will clear your confusion so once you have assigned this thing now let's see what is the logic you need to write on this delete option right so i select this option right here so i'll select the delete button that you see here once i choose the delete button i'll go to the prototype tab and we'll add a new interaction so i select a new interaction and on click there needs to happen three things right so the first thing is we need to hide this a uh, particular frame because the delete button is for this particular row so the first thing is set variable and we are going to set the item available variable right so this is the particular boolean variable which is assigned to turn on and turn off this particular row so i'll choose item available in this case we are going to set it to false i just set it to false and that's it we are done right so if you turn off this one this particular row will get turned off so on click this one turning off that is done the next thing we need to do is update the subtotal and the total right so for that i'm going to add a new action again so this is going to be set variable and click on subtotal so we have to reduce this value from the subtotal which is already available here right so i'll choose subtotal again minus we need to count what is the total of this one so it's going to be 6000 which is the price of this mouse multiplied by the count that is here right so this can be any count uh, what the user has chosen so we need to get this from the variable that we actually created so this one is going to be the item count but not just item count right we need the exact item count of this mouse so i again click on this option here and this will give me the different modes so i'm going to choose the mx mouse so this should work fine because we are reducing the subtotal by the price of this particular mouse here right so this one is done so i'll just leave this here and the subtotal will get updated here uh, now we need to update the total as well so i'll add a new action once again set variable choose total here total is simple right you just have to add subtotal with the shipping charge which is 150 so i just add subtotal plus 150 and that's it we are done so you need to do this action appropriately for these both delete options as well i've already done it so i can just directly preview this one so i'll select 
select the frame here shift space bar and that opens up our prototype so i'm going to increase the values here you can see how those values increase here so everything works fine and if i click on this delete option here you'll see the subtotal and the total changing right so if i remove this those got updated and these values also remain right so i can remove this one as well and again the total and the subtotal gets reflected as it is so that's how we can apply the interactions for the delete option as well so once you delete it you're basically turning off that layer and then also updating the different values that is a subtotal and total in this case so that's it for this video i hope you found this helpful and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more such tutorials and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one